Hello friends, welcome again to my channel and today we will discuss grading of bitumen. Bitumen is also called asphalt cement in US. It is important for a bitumen to be graded before it can be used in a construction project and this grade is primarily based on the stiffness of the bitumen at predefined temperature. The correlation between the bitumen stiffness and temperature varies with the type of bitumen employed and the bitumen type varies based on its origin as well as the method of refining. Let us have a case of two samples of bitumen and plot their stiffness with temperature. Let us say you have a bitumen A and a bitumen B. Now as you can see here they have different relationship with temperature. At 25 degree centigrade bitumen B is stiffer than bitumen A but this trend is reversed at 60 degree centigrade or 135 degree centigrade and it will depend upon the source of crude and the method of refining of the crude. Now due to these variations it is important to define a test temperature to determine the grade of the bitumen. A stiffness of the bitumen is important at these three temperatures 25 degree centigrade, 60 degree centigrade and 135 degree centigrade. 25 degree centigrade represents average annual temperature of an asphalt pavement during its year. 60 degree represents pavement temperature during extremely hot summer and 135 degree centigrade corresponds to mixing and compaction of the bitumen mixture. Different grading systems have been evolved over the time like grading by chewing, penetration grading, viscosity grading and super pave performance grading. This chewing was the method used to determine the stiffness that is hardness of the bitumen in late 19th century. This was the time when there was no test equipment developed and it was accepted or rejected by chewing by the experienced bitumen inspectors. Testing temperature was obviously the human body temperature that is 37 degree centigrade. In 1903, ASTM developed penetration test to grade the bitumen at 25 degree centigrade and this was considered as a measure of consistency of the bitumen. The penetration test involved penetration of a needle that is loaded by 100 grams into a bitumen sample maintained at 25 degree centigrade in a water bath for a period of 5 seconds and the penetration value is measured in tenths of a millimeter and based on this penetration value you can say whether a bitumen is soft or hard. The greater the penetration value, the softer is the bitumen. And based on penetration, the penetration grades for bitumen binder were identified as 30, 40, 40, 50, up to 200, 300. This is the hardest grade of binder 30, 40 and this was the softest grade of binder 200, 300. Now the range here indicates the penetration value at 25 degree centigrade. So if the bitumen is graded as 60 70 that means when you determine its, its penetration value at 25 degree centigrade it will be between 60 and 70 or you can say 6 and 7 millimeter penetration grading system is 120 years old and it is simple and is still in use in many countries particularly in east african countries like kenya and tanzania but there are certain drawbacks of this system also and the first drawback is that it is empirical and not a rational or a fundamental test. It is not effective for polymer modified binders and 25 degree centigrade neither simulates high temperature performance nor the lower temperature performance of a binder. Say for example you take this case there are three binders A, B, C and they have the same stiffness value at 25 degree centigrade and that is 65 but different values at higher or lower temperature than 25 degree centigrade. Bitumen C which has the highest or the steepest slope here that will show sign of rutting at higher temperature as its stiffness is very low at a temperature which is more than 25 degree centigrade. But this system was in use in India also till 2006 but it was found that the penetration grading system does not address the issue of temperature susceptibility of the binder and the temperature susceptibility of the binder is the slope of 
टेम्परेचर वर्सेज स्टिफनेस कर स्टीव स्लोप रिप्रेजेंट्स हाई टेम्परेचर ससेप्टेबिलिटी विच इज नॉट डिजायर्ड देर फोर इन द लेट नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज दी यू एस इंट्रोड्यूस द विस्कोसिटी टेस्ट एट सिक्सटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टू एड्रेस द इशू ऑफ टेंडर मिक्स एट हायर टेम्परेचर एंड बेस्ड ऑन द विस्कोसिटी एट सिक्सटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड बिटुमन वर क्रेडिड एज VG10, VG20, VG30 और VG40. Now VG here stands for viscosity grade, and these are the grade 10, 20, 30, 40. 40. Now each number here represents the viscosity. The lower, the lowest viscosity is 80 times these numbers. So the viscosity at 60 degree centigrade, which you call the absolute viscosity, that is 800 to 1200 for VG10, and is 3200. To four thousand eight hundred for VG forty. Now this range is eighty to one twenty times the grade of the binder. The penetration is twenty five degree centigrade, which is the annual average temperature of the pavement is also retained in IS seventy three two thousand thirteen. And each grade of binder has its own applications. VG10 is widely used in spraying applications such as surface dressing and paving in very cold climate in lieu of old 80 by 100 penetration grade it is also used to manufacture bitumen emulsion and modified bitumen products VG20 is generally used for paving in cold climate and high altitude regions VG30 is primarily used to construct extra heavy duty bitumen pavements it can be used in lieu of 60 70 penetration grade Whereas VG40 is used in highly stressed areas such as intersections, near toll booths, and truck parking loads, in lieu of old 30-40 penetration grade, and due to its high viscosity, stiffer bitumen mixes can be produced to improve resistance to shoving and other problems associated with higher temperature and heavy traffic loads. now viscosity grading system has several advantages over penetration grading the first is that it simulates flow property at 60 degree centigrade that is the temperature during hot summer and it also contains the kinematic viscosity at 135 degree centigrade which is the mixing temperature for all types of bitumen mixtures it is suitable for wide range of temperatures 25 degree centigrade for cracking 60 degree centigrade for rutting And 135 degree centigrade for construction. The major drawback of this grading system is that it is completely based on experience. So test procedure is rational, but ranges are empirical. Now viscosity grading system was still based on experience because, as, as I told you, that the testing is rational, but the ranges are through experience or based on experience. A five-year strategic highway research program was undertaken in United States of America from 1987 to 1992 to develop a performance-based grading system for bitumen, and it included defining of new performance parameters and development of test setup to determine these parameters. And the target was to have common specifications for modified and unmodified bitumen. as a result of this binder selection is completely based on climate two temperatures were considered a high temperature and a low temperature and the pg grading performance grading were assigned as xx minus yy so the binder was given pg xx minus yy here xx represents average seven day maximum daily temperature and minus yy represents minimum pavement temperature and both high and low temperatures in the grading system are in increment of 6 degree centigrade the high temperatures grades are pg52 pg58 pg64 pg70 pg76 and pg82 and low temperature grades are minus 4 minus 10 minus 16 minus 22 and so on here binder is to be selected based on the climatic conditions of the area for example for a project location where 
the maximum record 7 day payment temperature is 70 degrees centigrade and the minimum record payment temperature is minus 3 degree centigrade a PG 70 minus 4 grade of the binder will be specified for making roads in that particular area. Although penetration grading system was very old and outdated, but the test was simple and very economical. Grading of binders by viscosity was quite economical, but these methods were not accepted due to many cases of premature failure in different parts of the world. In super pay performance grading system, tests and specifications are designed to eliminate or minimize three specific types of payment distresses flooding, fatigue cracking, and thermal cracking. And several equipments were developed under this program. Rolling thin film oven test was developed for short term aging of the binder, which simulates aging of binder during heating of the bitumen, mixing with aggregate, and compaction and rolling. The pressure aging vessel test was developed to simulate 5 to 10 years of field aging of the bitumen and a dynamic shear rheometer is used to measure the viscoelastic properties of the bitumen at high temperature corresponding to the maximum 7 day payment temperature during summer and intermediate temperature corresponding to the average annual temperature of the pavement at the project site. A rotational viscometer is used to measure viscosity at 135 degrees centigrade. In DSR, two parameters are defined, complex modulus that is G star and phase angle. Phase angle indicates the elastic nature of the binder. Higher the phase angle, more viscous will be the binder. So this is G star and this is the angle delta. Then this on X axis represents the elastic part of the complex modulus and this represents the viscous part. And you can compare these two figures. When delta is low, elastic part is high or more and viscous part is less. But when delta is more, then elastic part becomes less and viscous part becomes higher. Now this is the schematic diagram of a DSR. Binder is sandwiched between two plates and top plate oscillates at 10 radian per second that simulates a speed of about 88 km per hour and it oscillates in clockwise anti clockwise direction creating a shear stress on the bitumen layer of this nature. Sinusoidal stresses are developed and it gives you the G star value and delta value. So complex modulus indicates stiffness in the binder and phase angle indicates the viscoelastic property of the binder. A rutting parameter is defined as G star by sine delta in PG grade system. And for original binder, the minimum permissible limit of G star by sine delta is 1 kPa. And for short term aged binder under RTF4, a rolling thin film oven, this value should be 2.2 kPa. The fatigue parameter is G star into sine delta, which is determined after long term aging of the binder under PAV, that is pressure aging vessel, and maximum permissible limit of G star sine delta is 5 MPA or 5000 kPa. So, to determine the XX temperature, that is the high temperature of PG grade, we conduct test on original binder as well as RTFO aged binder. And for this spindle in DSR is 25 millimeter diameter and considering original binder G star by sine delta at test temperature should be less than 1 kPa and for RTFO age binder this should be less than 2.2 kPa. So temperature at which these two conditions are met that is your high temperature or XX temperature. For determination of YY temperature minus YY temperature the test is conducted at long term aged binder that is PAV aged binder and a bending beam rheometer test is conducted to determine the minus YY temperature. It uses a small beam of bitumen which is simply supported and immersed in cold liquid bath and that basically gives you minus YY temperature. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. Here we have discussed 
different methods of grading of the binders and how they have evolved over the time. You can write your comments in the comment box.